Hello, my name is Ewan and today I'll be showing you how to make your very own custom Optifine player models. So the first thing we will need to do is we need to go into our launcher and edit the Java arguments so that we can actually see them in game. So to do that, you want to open the Minecraft launcher, you want to go to edit when it loads, installations, you click the triple dot edit and then you go to more options and then in JVM arguments you go down to the end and you need to add dash d player dot models dot local equals true. What this will do is it means that it now loads the player models from your computer instead of from the actual Optifine servers. The downside of enabling this is that you won't be able to see any cosmetics that Optifine enables, such as the Santa hat, but it does mean that you can make your own player models. There is one more thing we're going to add here, which is dash d player dot models dot reload equals true. What this does is it reloads the model every five seconds in game so that you don't have to keep restarting the game to see it. So once you're done making your model, you can remove this and then it will, because it blinks every time it reloads. So you can remove this once you're done. You only need this one to see them. Okay, so when you've done that, you can click save. And that's, that's all the Minecraft stuff set up. So it's now ready to have player models. Now I will note I'm using 1.18.2 for this. It shouldn't matter what game version you used, but if it doesn't work, test it on this version that I'm using, which is HDUH7 on 1.18.2. And then if it works here and it doesn't work in a different version of the game, you know that player models doesn't work in that version. But if it doesn't work in this version, then your model is wrong and you need to go fix that. Okay, so to get started on making the model itself, we want to go into Blockbench. Now there is a plugin that I've made for Blockbench which allows you to easily make player models. So to find this, you can go to File, Plugins, Available, and then search for Optifine Player Models. You just want to click Install and you'll see this nice pop-up explaining everything you need to do. But since this is a tutorial, I'm not going to read it and we're just going to go straight into making it because I'll show you how to do it. So to access the new format, it's either here, Optifine Player Model, or you can go to File, New, Optifine Player Model. So in this project box you'll see the file name, just leave that blank, and for now we're going to enable Use Player Texture. What this does in game is the model, the player model, will load the player texture, your skin, onto the model basically, rather than using a separate texture. And then we can just click Confirm. Now you see this skin here, this is a like modeling guide, so you can like know where everything on the player is. So at the moment, this skin, if you want to customize this skin, you can. To do that, you have to go to new Java block item, and then the display tab, and then this skin in here is what it's using. So you can just display skin and change this. And then once you change this, you just restart Blockbench, and then it should appear in this format. So to get started, we're just going to go to, we click on a folder, and these are the folders, these are the parts which you can attach stuff to. In Optifine Play Models, you cannot replace parts completely. So I cannot remove the head and add a different head, I can only add stuff onto it. So let's do this. So let's just add a cube. Let's just make it so that I have three heads. That's a good example, I think. So we can put one head here on the, that's the right and then duplicate it and put it on the left. So now he has three heads. Let me find my skin quickly so that I can actually view what is gonna look like. There you go. So now I've loaded my skin into Blockbench. You can see that is how it would look in game. So let's just do another thing. On the like left arm, for example, we can add a cube. And on here, we can change the shape. And we can make it so that he has a really weird looking hand. It's going to be really wide. And this can just use that bit of texture for now. It's going to have like a hammer hand. So now we've made this model. We want to export it to the game. Now player models are not part of resource packs. So you cannot send them to people in resource packs. They are a separate system. Player models also apply to only certain usernames. You cannot have it across every player, 
it only works on specific usernames. So to set this up, we want to go to File, Export, Export Optifine Player Model. Now this, we want to go to, we want to put it in our .minecraft folder. So to get there, you can go percent app data percent and hit enter. This will take us to our app data roaming folder. And from here, you should have .minecraft. We then want to make a new folder. If you have one already, then don't make a new one. But if you want to make a new folder and call it player models. Inside of this folder, we need two more folders, but I'm, gonna, I'm only going to make one of them for now. And that new folder is called items. Inside of this folder is where you can put all of your player model parts. So this one, this model that I've just made, let's call it test. And then inside this folder is where you save the model. So it should be in .minecraft player models items test. And the file name needs to be model.config cfg. So that just goes in this folder. I'm just going to copy this path and then we can save it there. So now let me bring up a file explorer. We can go to this and we'll see the model file here. And the model should look something like this. So you can see the type is a player item. Use player texture is set to true. The texture size is 64 by 64, which is the size of a skin. And then we have attached to head and there's two cubes and then attached to left arm and there's one cube. So that's that bit set up. So now we need the bit of code that will tell the game to apply this player model to me. So to do that inside Blockbench again, you can go to file, export, create optifine player model config. Now this is what controls what player models are attached to you. So in here, you want to put your username. And then in here is the name of the player model item that you just created in the items folder that you want to apply to you. And I named that text. So now we click create. It's going to come up with a select folder dialog. And now you need to select the folder to put them in. And this folder will be .minecraft player models. And then this is where we create that other folder. And it's called users. So inside here, just click select folder. And then you see it says saved as. So now if we go back to that folder, so dot Minecraft player models users will now have your name dot cfg dot config. And then inside here, you'll have items type equals test, which is the name of the folder that we put the player model in, and then active true. Now you can actually attach more than one model onto you at a time. This file export player model config only works for one at a time. So if you want to have more than one active at a time, you can do it through this config file manually. All you need to do is copy paste this bit here. So this curly bracket to this curly bracket, copy paste it. You put a comma after the second curly bracket, enter down and paste it again. Now this type is the name of the other model. So if you have like some horns or something on your head, you can put type horns and then active true. You can just set them to false if you want to disable them, but you can have them as true and it will enable them. I'm going to delete this because I only have one model enable, one model available there. So save that. And now we can go and game and test it. So let's launch Minecraft. 1.18.2 Optifine and play. There we go, now the game has loaded. We can go into a world and we can see if the models worked or not. And there you go, as you can see, the model has been applied. You've got my weird triple head and you've got the hammer hand. One thing I actually want to test, I don't think the models work in first person. So if I change this hand down here, I don't think you'll be able to see that. So we can test that easily by just going back to the model. We can duplicate this hand over, put it into the right arm. So now it's in the right arm, you can just control S and it will save it. You go in game, and there you go, it's already updated. So you can see it's here in third person, but when I go to first person, it's not there. If you set the, when you save the model, when you create the player model config, if you put someone else's username, of course, when you see them in game, you'll see their player model. 
that you have to have their file set up to allow you to see that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make it with a custom texture so it doesn't use your skin texture. So let's just delete these parts. We can change the settings by going to File, Project, and turning off Use Player Texture. And this texture is probably only going to be. Actually, I'll leave the texture size for now as that. Okay, delete this texture here. So let's add some horns. So inside the head, we can add a new cube. And then put this cube around here on the corner. We then want to make it a bit bigger. Just like that, there we go. We can then create a new subfolder with the add group button. Put it in there, we'll call that left horn. We're going to center the pivot point with the center pivot tool. We can move the pivot point down to the back corner. And then we can rotate it just like that. And there's a horn. So now we can duplicate that with Control D. And then you see it's called left horn too. We can now go transform, flip X, and now it's called right horn. It's on the other side. So from there, we can click create texture. We're going to call it your username. You don't have to name it now, you can name it later, but just we can name it your username and type as texture template and confirm. And then that'll create a texturing template for you. We can actually uh, organize this a bit more if we we click with this cube here and we can click move texture with UV if you don't have that you can go to customize and just add it by typing move texture with UV you find it here it should look like two chain links and you just drag it up to this bar so if you click that you can then just move this around so then that's a bit neater so now we can just paint on them so you go to paint mode and then we can turn on mirror painting. So when we paint on this one, it paints on this one too. Just pick a color and then of course, just paint on it. Now this ghost, you can actually paint through it. it. It's basically not there. You can click through it all you want. So it shouldn't get in the way at all. Again, now we textured the horns. You just want to click save on the texture. And then this needs to go in dot Minecraft, player models, items, then the item that you made, the folder, and then in here you want to make a new folder and this is called the users. And then in there, this is where you can rename it if you didn't name it earlier, but it needs to be your username.png and then save. So if we go to the folder, you'll see dot Minecraft player models items, the test which is the name of the item, your model.config is here, a users folder is here, which is where your texture is. So if you're using custom textures for every single player that you apply it to, every single username you apply it to in the users.config, you also need to have they you need to have a texture for them, basically. So now I have you and now 5195.png, which is my texture for this model. You can then go back to Blockbench and we'll just save this. I can just save it quickly with Control S because I've already exported it once. But if you're making, if this was a new one, you'd need to go File Export, Export Optifine Player Model. So now when you go back to in game, we can see that the player model has a has applied, and I have two horns now. That is pretty much everything. You can now use Blockbench to make your models. You can use the player texture, or you can use a custom texture, and they go in that folder. Just like that. There we go. So this has been how to make Optifine player models. Thanks for watching.